Hello everybody, you're watching The Luna Show. I asked my old friend Jamal Milan to come and teach the old way. And the reason why I wanted him to teach the old way is because I know that the old way, I don't want it to go away, you know? And so we need the next generation of uh, young people from our scene to sort of take it up and do what they can with it and, you know, keep the legacy of old way going. And so it was important that I got the right person to do it. And let's see what Jamal does. I just got here. I'm so excited to teach my old way class. I'm really, really, really excited because I'm going to teach these individuals the different aspects and elements of the old way. Uh, ten elements that I can think of the top of my head are pop, dip, spin, posing, locking, you need strength, and you need style and grace. Um, there are also arts to the old way, meaning you may be doing an element of the old way, but you have to make it artistic. And today we're going to go through the art of dipping, the art of popping, the art of posing, the art of catwalking and duck walking, the art of doing tricks and combinations, the art of spinning, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun today, so I'm really excited. The category itself, in the early 80s, I learned in 87 from watching people like um, Jerome Pendarvis and Jason Obinus and Ronald LeMay. Some of those names you might know, some of them you might not know. Jason, however, came out in 1980. So he came out voguing in 80. So if he came out voguing in 80, and from what I understand, Paris Dupree is the first person to ever start voguing. So um, it had to start in the 70s. But before the category was called Old Way, it went through a lot of different phases. It started out as Pop, Dip, and Spin. And I have a little insert here stating that Pop, Dip, and Spin, what is it? Pop, tip, and spin is a form of the dance genre vogue that allows you to express yourself to music with your body by popping, dipping, spinning, and posing to the music. That's what the category was at first. Because people um, could do stretches and things like that, they changed it to performance. That was around about 1987, my era, when I came out. They, they were calling it pop, dip, and spin sometimes, but a lot of times they were calling it performance. Um, when a lot of us started walking it, and I say me, um, Stiffy Revlon, Andre, um, Ms. Rahi, Tim Princess, um, people like Lamar, Elite, Eli Ebony, because some of us had stretch and some of us didn't, and we were new to the scene, they changed it to new school vogue versus old school vogue. So it was basically everybody who they knew that walked the category in the scene, versus the people who they didn't know who were us, but we were the new school. Then it turned to New Way. And at one particular point in time, I was considered a New Way person. When they started, um, when Stiffy started doing stretches with his arms and six o'clocks and like he could put his leg up and fall into a split, I couldn't do that. So I had to go to the, all to the other side because I couldn't do that. Um, and that's how it became Old Way and New Way. That's how they split it up. But it, you see how all the different phases it went through? Do it across the top. Yeah. What's up? This is Scooter Balenciaga. I'm just here with my father, Jamal Milan, the icon. We wanted to start a class um, just to help continue the old way tradition. It's um, not that popular today, you know, so we want to make sure we teach many people so that way it doesn't die out. The Not too many people pay attention to the category. It's, that's why a lot of people pay attention to Vogue Femme. So um, I, when I first started, I wanted to make sure that I tried to do something different and that's why I was attached to the old way. So when I saw it I was just like so fascinated with the lines and the techniques and it reminded me so much of break dancing. Um, not too many people are like really into it because they don't really know how to do it. So that's why we're here today so that way we can reach out and teach people and get them techniques and skills so that way the tradition doesn't die out. Try to be exciting with your moves and combinations. Use your imagination. For example, if I'm sitting right here and I'm going like this, this is cute, right? 
But if I want to use my imagination, I'm going to do something else. Like, you know what I mean? Use your imagination. I'm still doing pretty much the exact <laughs> same thing I was doing, but I'm just, just doing a little different. But I'm listening to the music at the same time. One. See how I'm listening to the music? But I'm still voguing and I'm still counting in my own way. One, two, one, two. When you do the walk, then pa, 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 Once you get like comfortable with that, then you just feel yourself just. You already up here. Remember we did this? Yeah. So you're spinning. I learned. Um, I learned a lot today, actually. I learned um, the history of Old Way. I learned all the elements of Old Way. And um, what else did I learn? I learned that m two of my favorites, actually three of my favorite uh, Old Ways, was taught by one of my other favorite Old Ways, which is you, Dabri, and Ironia, and Dewan. So that's what's up there. Hello, I'm Greg Miyaki Muglia, and what I learned from this experience is um, there the multiple elements of Old Way, um, more precise movements, different ways to dips, um, and I actually took more of an interest in the category, and I actually want to learn more and maybe actually begin to walk Old Way. Mm -hmm. So you see yourself doing that in the in the future, yeah, I actually want to actually work more on it and actually want to pursue it. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was actually fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was different. Hey, what's up? My name is Diggy Khan, and um, I just left Old Way class with Jamal Malone. And my back is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely hope we continue with it um, at GABC. Thanks to Luna. Um, I definitely got a chance to hone in some of my Old Way skills. Um, and I'll be looking forward to using them on the floor soon. So that's something you're interested in doing? Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel one of the categories coming soon from Diggy Khan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jamal Milan. Today, I taught an old way class to a couple of individuals, and I think it's important that we, other legends and icons in the ballroom scene, uh, reach out to our younger generation and teach them more categories in the ballroom scene. For example, today, we ta I taught old way. And I think it's important for our younger generation to know that there are other categories out there that you can do and that you can be just as exciting as any other categories that you see out there today in the old way. Old way is a very masculine type of dance where it combines karate, gymnastics, as well as break dancing uh, to the music. So I'm very excited about the class that we had today. I wish that there would be more young individuals that are interested in learning the old way because I'm here to teach you. And it just step outside the box and just try something new and different, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it.